Hey guys, what's going on? Random Andrew here. We wanted to get out and do something today. Late night last night, working on a project for Adam the Woo. I'm sure you guys seen that by now. Adam seen it, he loved it. Mission accomplished. What we're doing today, it's windy, so bear with any wind noise. As I speak, there it is. We're actually trying to put these little flags I made to use. Have a look at this. Oh, the wind, the wind, it's killing me. Okay, I'm gonna do a walkthrough before you actually yep. start. Yep. It's the first gate. We wanted to make it so it wasn't just a simple drive through. The lower swept flags are trying to block some wind here. The lower swept flags are on the left side of the vehicle, L, you know, lower L left, and on the right, so it kind of gives you a direction. Once you're through there, it's kind of up to you on how you decide you want to get down through this next portion right here. And then of course it's kind of self-explanatory and then you can't just drive straight up through there no no you have to go up onto the hillside to get through that spot onward through onward through and because it's rained the last couple of days it's nice and gushy here under these little stilts and then instead of just going around the corner and over those rocks under that bridge you have to come up up this loose hill through them gates, across the steel covered bridge there. Well, it's not a covered bridge, but it's a bridge covered with steel. Down through those gates, onto those rocks. Under the bridge, up and through here. The next set of gates is at the end of this rock concourse thing. Up and through the little ditch there, and then you have to touch that last flag with your bumper. Can you manage that? I got this. All right, Craig's going first run, and then he's going to film the deadbolt going through. This should be interesting. All right, here he goes. Right, there's some little twig pieces sticking up right there. You just break those out of the way. Did not touch the gate. And you guys are getting a view from above today because I really don't feel like walking down through the yeah, gush yeah, unless I have to. Oh, first roll over, right, you know, between the second and third gates. In the deepest part of the whole pit. Because of the nature of where it is, uh, we just use a stick to flip him over and he has to drive out of the position he's stuck in. Shouldn't be a big deal though. We're not timing it, we're not doing points deduction. It's more or less just kind of like a practice run. That was kind of weird. Oh, oh yeah, ah, you gotta go up and through those gates. We both almost... That looks pretty soft. Do it without hitting. I think I see what he's trying to do. No, oh, you hit it. Is that a hit? Yeah, that's a hit. Your tires are right against it. You didn't move it, but you did touch it. Don't you get little bells and attach to the top of each flag? Yeah. Can't go around the driver again. Okay, come on through. Now don't forget about this hill here. It's gonna take some uh, some of that 3S power that you got in there. Where are you going? Oh, that hill. I just. <laughs> oh no problem. We struggled with that the other day. Now it's wet. down and backwards. Now is that because you know your truck likes to endo over itself? Yes. <laughs> yes. It's exactly oh, he's just churning it up real nice for me under there. <laughs> Can you imagine that being the last truck after, say, like, 
I don't know, 20 trucks to come through. Yeah. You just got nothing but suit to contend with. Look at his tires. Oh, come on now. <laughs> that is just pure mud. Through the last gate. And you just gotta come up and touch his bumper to this last flag. Like way to overshoot it, buddy. Oh, there's the way. Oh, second roll over. I didn't kick it. I just. There you go. All right. Now you get to film the deadbolt. All right. Here we go. Through the first gate. Through the second gate. What's going on? Can't even back out of that. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice save. That is a save. <laughs> Come on. Come on, touchdown. No, it's gonna be too hard on the truck because everything's souping in around the rim now. Yep. Oh, you can. <laughs> yeah. I ended up the same way you did under there. That's a good drop off. Was the first one technically a rollover? Uh, well, nothing's technical because we're not. Yeah, we're not like even track, but. That was a silly little rollover. Go straight up. Yeah, I see why you did this now. Well, I'm not doing too good today, so am I? Go straight up at the flag and it'll, it'll carry you right across. Glad we got that stick. Attempt number three at this gate. And if I don't get it, then I'm just going to bypass. Yeah, I'm going to roll again right here. Oh no, you're not! <laughs> I hope you got that. Are yeah, you I did. The phone or are you watching the phone? I'm watching the phone. Okay. Did you do? Did you do? Did you do? I'm gonna be I'm gonna cancel the rollover factor. That's why I did it. Backwards, just to be different. I was expecting at least one hole over through there. Slide across the rod. A little 1.9, giving her all this job. Nice and bucky. <laughs> Oh, how they find the mud. They're like little bloodhounds. They're mud hounds. That rock. It's in the competition, some of them get a point deducted for going backwards. Yeah, but we're not competition. Yeah. I am filming. Yeah, back across the bridge.
then you touch the last flag with the bumper. There you go. Matt showed up for a quick crawl. It actually, uh, I put some two bolts on the dry shaft. Yeah. That was great, a lot better. Good. Andy. Hef showed up too, but he had another servo issue already. Yep. <laughs> servo horn strip. I went to uh, Mike Jones. Mike Jones' computer uh, reader wouldn't even read that truck. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. Dude. He said his computer reader kept on saying error code. Or error or whatever. He's got it. I think his is so I, old. I told you, you should have got it over to Mike. I don't mind background talking. I just tired of uh, blanking out f bombs all the time. <laughs> well, no, I mean everybody knows I do have younger viewers, and it's the least you can do for some of the younger subscribers. There you go. Reversing the stilts. <laughs> so right now, what are you saying? oh, runny nose. Going, man. Yeah, runny nose. Craig's got to get heading back, so we got to head back to the house. The deadbolt. I don't know. It's acting like uh, well, it is in low power mode from getting all that mud walled up on the wheels, and it's just limping right now. So I really do need to put a new motor in it. But. You know, it was a fun little quick crawl for the day. We're going to collect some flags and head back to the house. So we got home, got the trucks cleaned up, recharged the 3S, one of your 3S, Ethan, and we're going to go do some speed runs. It's kind of windy, so I, I really don't know how good an attempt to film it will be, but I'll do what I can. You know I always try to do at least what I can. Do what you can't. There you go, Mr. Neistat. Do what you can't. So we all went out, we did our speed runs, and I don't know what it was, but during the speed runs, I got so, uh, so cold. When I got home, I passed right out for about four hours. I don't know, I just, like I said yesterday, I wasn't feeling good. Feeling better a little bit today, though. It just, I don't know, something hit me like a ton of bricks, and I was out. So now later on at night, I think it's like a 10, 30, 11 o'clock. I'm sitting down watching the Adam the Woo stream. I throw a comment up there saying, Adam, did you see the video I made last night? The uh, Kerry, oh, how do you say his last name? Ills? Ills? Uh, the video between Adam the Woo delivering that famous line from the Princess Bride. And he actually addressed the comment personally. And he said, random, random Andrew, yes, I did see it. Awesome job. Even noticed that through the goose, Ghostbusters don't cross the streams in there. Very cool. That's awesome. Made that video for that one person and uh, actually it got quite a few views almost immediately as soon as people woke up today or whatever and saw it on his channel. It jumped up over 100 views like fast. So I mean that's pretty good. I liked it. I thought it was pretty cool getting to see Adam do that and I thought that most of you would enjoy seeing that too. So on with the vlog. End of the evening. Megas did great on the speedruns earlier, Deadbolt did awesome in the mud, except uh, just bogged down a little too quick and easy. I think that motor's about done. Mm -hmm. Anyhow though, replace that when I can, and uh, I think there's supposed to be some kind of thing going on tomorrow for the RC stuff. I don't know. You'll have to tune in to find out. Let me know if you do. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. It's uh, It's been a weird day for me. Just kind of mostly tired, hard to film. And now I get to do the first edit again with the iPhone since, uh, geez, it's been quite a while, probably closer to a year since I've had to edit this iPhone footage. So wish me luck. Thanks again for your support. Thanks for your time. I appreciate you guys tuning in every day. It means a lot to me. If you're not yet subscribed, please do so. Hit that subscribe button. Click the like button if you enjoyed. And if you share, share it up it helps get the vlog seen trust me trying to grow this channel has not been easy and it will not be easy because the longer we go the longer more youtubes pop out of the woodwork and some of them stick around like me some of them give up but thank you for sharing if you do think positive stay positive we'll see you tomorrow i need to end this vlog so i can edit and then just go to back go back to bed i just need more sleep thanks a lot guys Good night, vlog over.